Doja was performing and I was right there and I was like, yes, girl, yes. She's like, nah, 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 nah. yes, girl. And I was like feeling it. And then she was like right next to me. I was like, I can't believe this girl is right next to me. What's up, friends? It's your girl, Emily Curl, backstage at iHeartRadio Music Festival, hanging out with Tiffany Haddish. Can we give it up for Tiffany, please? Yeah. Thank you. So nice to see you in Vegas. Last time you were at our iHeartRadio studios in New York. Yes. It's great to be here. It's you. great to be here with you, girl. At our iHeartRadio Music Festival, and tonight you're getting ready to intro Chris Martin. Yes. So casual. <laughs> yes, just casually introduce Chris Martin, you know. You know, co-play, all that good stuff. Yeah. How do you feel being here at the festival? I feel so good being here at the festival. I remember coming to an iHeartRadio festival when I was, you know, very just regular, which I still feel like I am just regular. You're but just joking. My face card, uh, my, my ID, I don't really need an ID as much as I used to. But I remember coming as just a fan and being like, yo, this is so dope, like, and having so much fun and like meeting guys and stuff. And now it's Ooh. like kind of the same, but not. Ooh. Because I'm still meeting guys. Oh, you are? Yeah, I'm meeting oh. guys. Oh, anyone so far backstage? Anyone you're trying to meet specifically? Uh, well, I met the Blue Man Group. Oh, whoa. And they started talking <gasps> and have been invited to a show. Whoa. And I think they like me. So big things are happening. I think I could give me a Smurf. And to give me a little bald headed blue man. They were, he was like, Can we take a picture with you? You're wearing blue, we're wearing blue. I said, Well, you perfect. better stop it. Did you plan this? You did, didn't you? This dress? Of course. Girl, yeah, I've been trying to, I've been starving myself for weeks. No, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, like we were saying, we have such an incredible set list. Like anyone that you're excited to see, like on stage. I want to see Big Sean. I haven't seen him perform ever live. I've seen him at parties and stuff like that, but I've never seen him perform live. And my girl, Doja Cat. You know I love Doja Cat. She's unmatched. Now, you know, I don't know if you remember at okay, some so, another yeah, yeah. award show, Doja was performing and I was right there and I was like, yes, girl, yes. She's like, nah, 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 nah. yes, girl. And I was like feeling it. And then she was like right next to me. I was like, I can't believe this girl is right next to me. Oh my God. Like, so is that going to be you tonight watching the show? Probably. <laughs> most likely. Most likely. <gasps> Cannot wait to see. I'll be watching you watch Doja Cat. That will be my Yeah, And today. I hope I run into the weekend. Because we know a lot of, we got a lot of mutual friends we've never actually met in person. Before. Really? Never met in person. Wow. Mm -hmm. What's going to be your opening line to the weekend? Salam. Yeah. Yeah, because he's East African. Yeah. So that's perfect. Yeah. Now we're just going to talk about cultural heritage stuff. Hopefully he down to talk about that. He might not be. Yeah. Well, we'll find and out. And I'm going to still just hit him with the knowledge. I you love know it. I love it. Lots of things knowledge. happening. Yeah. And speaking of the stage, you're about to go on your tour coming up soon. What can you tell us about hitting that um, stage? I could tell you that it's going to be super fun and it's not going to be your typical comedy show because I have music, as you know, and some people out there at home know. So I'll be incorporating my music with the comedy. So it'll be a good time. Yeah. Tell yeah. us more about the music. So, you know, I got I got three songs with Diane Warren, but I've only released one because I'm I've been learning about LPs and EPs and singles oh, and you you're know, in all it. the different yeah. releases and stuff and like mixtapes. And I was thinking to a mixtape, but a Diane Warren song really shouldn't go on a mixtape. That's more of like trap, like, you know, ratchetness, which I have one or two of those. Um, so my my album will be very uh, multicultural. It's ooh, for everybody. Uh, my EP. My EP. When is that drop? Is that dropping? I'm not telling you. It's oh. a surprise. But you know, my birthday is coming up. Ooh. Uh -huh. Okay. We cannot wait. So we'll be on the lookout for new music and for the tour. Uh -huh. The tour and... is in the, uh, starts in uh, the okay. end of October. Uh November. And then I'm going to go to the Middle East. We I'm going to have to cover up in some of the places I'm going to be at. But most of the places, I'm going to have my stomach out. <laughs> Can't wait to see That's why I've been starving. I'm trying to get the abs of Aaliyah. Ooh, I love. <laughs> um, okay, let's do a couple quick Vegas questions. Okay, let's do this. Vegas questions, yes. How would you describe performing for a Vegas crowd in one word? Thrilling. Ooh. What's your Vegas guilty pleasure? Spas. Oh. Is that the, the like first thing you do when you come to Vegas? No. The first thing I do is jump into bed. <laughs> I jump up and down on a bed. Like, that's some, like, because I feel like they make their bed sturdy here in Vegas. They sure do. Because they made for sturdy things. <laughs> so I jump up and down on the bed, and I just, I wish my mom was in the room so I could say, see, mama, beds don't break. I'll have to do that. <laughs> um, it's a good workout. What's the first thing you do when you come home from tour or a work trip? The first thing I do is play with my animals. And then this is something I got to stop doing. I leave my bags by the front door, right? 
inside the house. Oh, okay, I was gonna yeah, say outside. The, like, okay. No, no, in the, like you know, you walk in the foyers right there. Yeah. And I leave the bags right there, and then this what I got to stop doing. I will just open the bag, take what I need out of the bag, and leave the bag open right there. And just like somebody gonna come up and close it and put it in the room. And you unpack don't it. unpack? I do not unpack because I leave like two days later. Oh, so, you're so just then I just take. The so same I just bag. open it, take the dirty clothes out. Then I put the new outfits in, drop the new outfits in, and it'll just sit there. Sometimes I trip over it at oh night because I'll turn the lights on. I'm like, dang, Tiffany, that'd be the worst way to die. <laughs> Butt naked, tripping over the suitcase that you left open. But is that the key to traveling so much? Do you just keep the suitcases ready to go? You keep the suitcase ready to go. Okay. Keep right. the suitcase ready to go, and then you, She's you out. She's always ready. She ready. Oh, I love it. We cannot wait to see you hit the stage. You can't wait for all the new music. Can we give it up one more time for Tiffany Haddish yeah. backstage? Yeah. Thank you. And enjoy Thank the you. night. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. See you next time.